presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Mike in Southern California. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom, nice to talk to you again. And I have to start out and first tell you, I love this trading room. This thing is great. This app, it works great. And uh, getting all the information, it, you're like instantly there. No delay, nothing. That's I know. Great. I Listen, Thank I you appreciate again. your growling problem with us. Your channel is in my pocket all day long. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, man. You Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great day, great night, and a great week. Assume nothing. Don't make assumptions. In any kind of relationship, we can make an assumption that others know what we think. And we don't have to say what we want. We assume they're going to do what we want to do because they know us so well. If they don't do what we want, we feel hurt, and we think, how could you do that? You should know better. Bottom line, get rid of the gray, folks. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 245, Nasdaq's up 231, S&Ps are up 51. Gold, gold contract down $10, trading at 1923 an ounce. We have silver up seven cents, twenty-three dollars nine cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck sixty-nine, sixty-seven dollars sixty-eight cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, ten-year note down thirteen ticks, trading one twelve twenty-six. The thirty-year down sixteen at one twenty-seven nineteen. And king dollar, king dollar is down two hundred and five ticks, trading at one hundred two four eighty-eight. Your euro is at one hundred nine. Your yen is trading at the 144, and your British pound is at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Well, let's go to the SPY, because you're going to see something pretty cool here. So, get this baby up. There you go. Okay, so... I have a four day up here. Now this is what we're challenging right now. You can see the bar from the 22nd, 436.62. And this, <laughs> this is always cool when this happens, folks. We hit 436.63. Now you can see that was the closing bar. Well, yeah, it was the closing bar of the 22nd. But bottom line is that that closing bar has a monster amount of volume. So what I expect we're probably going to see here, it's a trend all day up. So I don't expect any type of big pullback. What I do expect is that the market will take some profits on the way on the, into the close here. That, that's, you know, I'm not, I'm looking for, you know, a fast move probably down, you know, what is that? Five, ten points, who knows? Something small. Because what has happened, the, the cool thing is that we're up at this level, the, you know, the volume is still not here because of the fact that it's so much volume at the close. You know, what we, what we certainly do have is that right before that close, you know, it's not bad. But when you get a big trending day like this, okay, markets love to trend. Uh, when you go all day long, no, we'll see where it shakes out, whether it can blow that away. My take is it's not going to blow that number away at the close. NDX 100, but we are going higher. My, my take is also we're going to the, the highs, and it's the perfect setup to go to the highs, meaning that we're going into July 4th weekend. We take a look at the Qs. The Qs right here up at $6.35. We take this, we put this intraday, and we have here intraday is that you can see the Qs, are, how they're much weaker because the 22nd, which the SPY is actually going after, on the Qs, that number is 366.33, but yet we're only at 364.09. So that's saying that the NDX, you know, is weaker, and, and, that, and my take on the NDX is that we can get down to, let me put the NQs up first.
And this is not divergence, by the way, okay? It's just, it, we don't have divergence there. It's just showing what's weaker and what's stronger. Yeah, see that? Okay, so the bar from 30 minutes ago, that went up a bit. You know, you can get down to that low again for sure, which is the, the 103. Game, what is that? That's 068. That'd be quite a move. I don't think we'll go that far. We could, though. That's the, Yeah, let me put these on here so you can see both of them. You get volume there. That was just 20 minutes ago. And you get volume here. The, the, the bigger one, let's see what the kind of retracement this would be if we did this. Okay. So, you know, if we did this, if we, if we did the one with the, the big volume bar, that would be a 0 0.382 retracement on the way down for the whole move up. So that's possible, man. And it would still be at higher price. Gold. We take a look at the gold contract out here. Gold contract, you're down 10 bucks. You got 1.7 million contracts. Is that right? I'm sorry, 172,000 contracts. Now, you're going against, let's see what we're going against here. So, yeah, we're going against 187. We go look at the GLD. And the GLD, that's going against 7.9 million dollars, doing 3.9, and then of course you're going against that big number. Now, I'd like to see the 177.63 hold. We got to 177.43 today. You're just above it right now. We're at 177.75. Oil. We go to the oil market. We take a look at the oil market out here. Oil right now. We're trading. This is in tough shape, man. Now, if this can't make it to the top of the range, meaning, you know, it's a one-day, two-day wonder, that's saying that these bottoms are vulnerable, meaning the bottom, we're talking about 64 bucks right now. And then if we get over to the dollar, we take a look at the dollar. The dollar looks to me that, you know, it hasn't been able to hold price. So the way that is set up is that, you probably keep continue to build calls here for a bit. You know, we did a point, what did we do? A point two seven, I think, was an anemic bounce. No, we did a point three eight two when it bounced here on uh, last Friday. But this is building calls probably to get down to the lower end of the dollar trading range right now, which is 101.747. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. You get Tesla up six and a half dollars. Well, actually, let's go inside the NDX. One second. We go inside the NDX out here. You got uh, Lucid uh, Motors up nine and a half percent. You got Charter five and a half percent. Sirius Satellite five and a half. Taken away from it. Walgreen Boots is down 10. You got Lumina down 4.4. Regeneron's off 1.3 and Dexcom is down 1.3. Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Point-wise out here, you get uh, Microsoft putting 48 points, My uh, Home Depot 46, Apple 29. Home Depot, rates are coming down, folks. Home Depot broke topside Currencies, yesterday. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, 
Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading up 230. We get the NASDAQ up 228. S&Ps are up 50. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as you do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. Go into newsletters. You'll see it on the left-hand side, the second one down. You hit that button. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you can get it for one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil has approximately 10 to 11 archives on there so that once you get the newsletter, you're going to get all the archives. You're going to get all the education he's done. You're going to get all the workshops that he's done. And if, you know, bottom line, you can go through them all at 29th day. If you, for some reason it didn't work, guess what? Just tell us you want your money back. You get your money back. If not, you are off to the races, of course, for your next month. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. Good. So what are we looking at out here, Basil? Well, you know what's fascinating about this market is that with all at, for a long time, going up to about midweek last week, <clears throat> there was a lot of negativity. And I always like to say that a market is always looking at, I'll show this chart right here. I showed it this morning in my show, the Tiger Technician's Hour. Let me see if I can get this up there. I always talk about this as the market sometimes takes in the news and just treats it as if ho-hum, yeah, just another day. And then the very same news, the next day, the market has a penipotum that they could do anything. And I've considered since November of 2022 that there's really been a very strong cap on the market, and that's this gray rectangle here okay every time every time the market goes the dow at least the dow goes about thirty two thousand five hundred this this is the stalling area i call it the dark news cloud cover and i use the dow as a daily chart as a proxy for the whole thing and here we are once again but in fact when we came down this this last i say all of last week going into this week let me just get this away and you'll see the Dow has pulled back from the 34,580 high of the 16th of June, pulled back quite sharply, about 1,000 points. And I use one particular indicator as a very, it's like my last resort when that goes, 
you, you've got to be careful either on the downside or the upside. <clears throat> and that's where the nine period exponential moving average, this is the green line, the daily chart here. Yeah. Holds above the 14 period moving average, doesn't cross negative. That says there's still internal strength. So yeah, keep an eye on this Dow chart in the daily. This is the weekly, which went under the previous high of December of 34,712, but it did make it. Now I'm always looking for four higher peaks, peak D. That's where other things can happen. So look at the sharp pullback at D in the daily. Look at this D in the weekly. It's just pulled back a little bit, but that nine is still very good. Look at the S&P. The S&P, and I, I must say that we're, we're actually short the S&P right now, <clears throat> even with this move up. So far, the stop is holding, but uh, why is it not doing that? Oh, there it is. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> there it goes. This is the S&P, same story, but look what's happened. It held the 14-period moving average in the daily. The nine-period moving average didn't pull back as sharp as I thought it would. <clears throat> Still very positive. And the weekly chart has gone to a peak E, <clears throat> excuse me, but still holding very well. Look at the QQQ, also holding very well. It did dip under the 14, but that nine period moving average is still above the 14. So I have a lot of respect for that. <clears throat> I thought that the SMHs, the semiconductors, which were acting very poorly, would pull back. Instead, today, they've had a very nice pop. And, that, <clears throat> and that's just saying to me that I've got to con constantly keep monitoring this nine over the 14, and I, I want to show you something here. This is the intraday, and I had mentioned this uh, in the den just a short while ago. Look, here's the five-minute chart from this pop-up at um, 8.35, I think, 8.40 this morning. You see this green line, and every single dip, even when the price went underneath the nine-period moving average, has constantly held, and even as we're speaking, is holding. So all the way through this one, the MACD started to pull back, the stochastic was flat, and then it pulled back sharply, yet the price held. So that's the reason I'll do a little bit more in my show tomorrow at 10 o'clock, but that's the reason why I've got a lot of respect for this particular indicator, and I am considering that there's a rotation that's going on, and we might have used up a chunk of the down move, using up time more than price, and going into this Friday a week, in other words, give it this full beginning of July to start, it won't be the full week because it'll be a shortened week, but I want to see where we go because if the Dow and the S&P and the QQQ, the IWM is very weak this thus far, but it's starting to rail a little bit. If they pull away from that 14 period moving average, move sharply above the nine, I have to consider we've used up time as a digestive uh, moment but if there's any story coming up in the next three sessions and you start, I'll give you numbers. If the S&P starts to close under 43.22, it's at 43.60, uh, 43.80 right now. If the Dow closes under um, 33,500, I think, and the QQQ, I'll give you the number there. The QQQ, if it, instead of rallying to the 367 area, if it starts to trade under three, I think it was 353. Uh, 356. If it goes under 356, that's going to be a problem. So I'm just looking at this and saying we've built up a cash position. I would mentioned to my subscribers to my opening call, we're looking in the next few weeks to put money to work. There are some really good looking stocks. And we'll see there are some stocks that actually have been holding well as this markets pull back. And those are the ones that should be leading the charge if we, if we start to make higher highs in the shorter term. But I, am, I have become cautious. I am still a little bit cautious. And I thought that the pattern that we'd be looking at, and this is still active, we'll see how it works, would be this pattern that I call the dreaded H. I'll just show this quickly. Come down sharply, make an arch formation, and then take out that left side low. So here's your sharp move down. I was expecting some kind of a rally. And if that starts to fail and we take out the lows of yesterday in all the indices, uh, I think that that would say, okay, now you've got to be really careful. So far, we've used, uh, used up time more than price. It's very interesting, this market. Wow, it keeps you on your toes. Yeah, there's no doubt. <laughs> Particularly, you know, it's intriguing that, you know, like just even this rally today, the rally today has taken back three days of the down trip. So, you know what I mean? Well, like that, that's the point I was trying to make, that I expected a rally. 
And if you look at this, uh, it could even go a little higher. Somewhere in the in the Dow, I'd go for the Dow, 34,050. If we go above that, hmm, maybe something else is happening. But if we just bounce a little bit more, maybe one more day and then start to pull back, that would be the cautionary note. But so far, uh, we've got some cash and I'm looking to put it to work because I think there's some stocks that are really acting very well. Folks, get over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go to the newsletter. You'll see Basil's newsletter, the opening call, the second one down. Hit that baby. You can subscribe now. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you. you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. .com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow Down Dish is up 241. You get the NASDAQ up 240. S&Ps are up about 53 and a half. Let's go to Amazon. Take a look at Amazon for a few of the tigers out here. So, Amazon last 12 months, you had the low of $81, a high of $146. Right now you're trading $129. Next time they come out with their numbers is on the 28th of July. They are going to be looking for top line $131 billion, the bottom line $0.34. Cents. And... Okay, so... Yeah, you got an ABC up here. Okay, let me look at this on the weekly for a second. Yeah, well, this. Okay, 
Back to daily. I think it wants to go to 146, but let me just look at something here for a second. So back to the daily. That's where we took it out. So that would be 128. That would be it. That's not a lot. That's only eight. That's 131. And we already hit 131. That's small ABC up to 131. I suspect what you'll probably see, though, when you start getting this close to a swing point, you know, you're probably going to get up to the swing, the swing we're talking about here. There'll be a lot of resistance here, actually. So if you take a look at this, this is where ice is. This is where it broke down, actually. That's where it broke down right there. So you take a look at it. You can see on the weekly, we went from 146 to 121. So most times what's going to happen, particularly because we went up so fast here, you'll come up, you'll come up to the, you know, ice, and you'll start basically pulling back. Ice is 135, so I expect that's where you're going to be heading to 135. We go over to the XLE. Let's go take a look at the XLE because there's no doubt that oil continues to get lower. And you know what's interesting? I, I was listening to Tommy this morning, and he was talking about um, the amount of mileage that we get in cars these days, right? Well, check this out. This is crazy, man. Um, well, here, let's do the XLE first. We take a look at the XLE. You can see it's up on light volume today. That's not good. It hasn't held the 79.19. That was the high of yesterday. Yesterday we did 16 million. You only got 11 out there today. So that's going to need more, more juice. So to get back for the, the mileage and all this, right? So check this out. I rented, when we were up in Newport last week, I rented, a, um, I think, a one of the small, um, they call it a mid-size SUV. Well, this absolutely blew my mind. We not only went from, picture check this out, we went from Boston to Newport, running around Newport, getting a bunch of supplies to put on the boat before we took off, right? And so I went to fill it up. Do you know how many gallons, folks, that it took? It is only four gallons in the car. I, I, what happened? I'm putting the thing in saying, well, something's wrong here, man. So I keep hitting it, keep hitting it, and of course it flushes out. And it's like, oh my God, I don't believe I just did that. But the bottom line is that these cars do get astronomical amounts of mileage. I was probably getting 50 miles because I, because I know Boston to Newport's got to be 120. Um, but that, that's, that's in place also, which, you know, it was amazing, actually. It actually blew, it actually blew my mind. There was like, it's probably four and a half gallons, the tank, which is like insane, you know. But uh, guess what? That makes a difference in the context of how much oil, you know, it can be pushed out. So, you know, think of how many of those vehicles are out there. And there's millions of them, millions of them, okay? So, you know, little by little, less oil is going to be consumed on a continual basis, even though every single year there's actually more people on the planet. We got to take a look at the, uh, let's go to the GDX, because we have the gold contract testing the lows of the last couple days. The GDX came down today, 18 million. Now that's broke a low that only had 18 million too, but we're still going into that big volume. Now the GDX is a 29.63. 29.53 is the number you want to stay above there. Because you're gonna, we're going to have more volume than that, but your benchmark still comes over with, with a monster volume of 63 million. That's how that baby, that's how you should be looking at it. We go and take a look at the uh, note and bond market. So, oh no, I want to go back to Home Depot. That's what that's, uh, Let's go back to Home Depot. That's right before that segment ended. Um, this is pretty telling, man. So in two days, Home Depot has just gone from 299 to 313. You're going to need more volume. But once it got back in 307, this is going to go to the top of the range, man. And that, that's 347. Let's see what they have. I want to hear what they have to say. This is, this is saying rates are always also backing down again. We'll see when it, when it happens. Uh, well, they say they're launching a 500 million cost savings plan. Let's go to Toll Brothers and take a look at Toll Brothers. 
that's breaking topside too. Yeah, the rates are coming down, folks. So watch how this goes. Toll Brothers is at all-time highs. Let me put this back. Oh, that's a big bar, too. That's what you like to see. So picture this. The high, 41 million. We've done 33. We're going to have the shot to take that high out with volume, you know. And B, B, D. Where's Builders first? B, I. Builders first. So Builders first, folks, is where all the... The low is 51, the high is 134. This is, you know, one of the largest suppliers of home builders in the United States. Revenue comes down at 16 billion a year. They're looking to do 4.1 billion with 2.4, $2.40 to the bottom line. This also is running at all time highs. And now, <laughs> Now it's actually breaking top side and it has some juice beside it, behind it. This is saying that the orders are still coming in, you know? And I can tell you from, you know, building a lot of houses, man, we, we use them, we use them all the time, man. Um, and, and what happens is this, so the way that they work also, which is pretty smart, is that they won't make trusses for you. Like inside, when the pandemic was here, they'll probably make trusses for anyone now, but when the pandemic was here, if you didn't buy all your supplies off them, they wouldn't do the trusses. Now, that's a big problem because there's very few big suppliers that do trusses. <laughs> In Florida, we get one that's bottom line between here and Orlando, which is only about, well, 50. Orlando's probably 70 miles away. The manufacturing plant's probably 40 miles away. But it's, it, it, they have a, a good business plan, meaning the concept that if you buy, if you want to buy lumber off them, Right now, they'll probably sell because COVID's over. But during the time, it wasn't. But you can see, if that's going all-time high, guess what? That's telling me these rates are going down. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrial's up 215. NASDAQ's up 227. S&P's are up 50. We'll come right back. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. 
Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 225. The Nasdaq's up 233. S&Ps are up 51. You know, if you've been reading about Pogosian at all in the, the Wagner Group, folks, okay, it's really intriguing, man. The Journal had in there this morning that uh, so he evidently has a hotel in Russia. They went into the hotel. Was it 28 million? They they, they got 28 million or 48 million out of it, okay. But that's nothing compared to what they run in Africa. I mean, you're talking about um, just huge mining company, huge timber company. Uh, it's going to be really intriguing watching this whole thing play out. Uh, you know, we just imposed more sanctions against the mining company, um, and it's minus resources. Uh, but you know what happens, folks, okay? This is like a no-brainer. No I mean, all you do, they'll just transfer ownership, then you make another shell, then they just keep going. You know, so it definitely must be the Wild West uh, down there in the Congo. There's no doubt about that. Congo, Mali, and that's where, the, just that is where the most amount of gold at the least expensive price is also. And that's why uh, when Rangel Resources were there, I, I always, always ask uh, Mark Bristow about it now. He's the CEO of Newmont now when they, when they merged. But the bottom line is that gold all in, out of the ground, was $250 an ounce. That's how much gold is actually down there. Uh, where he was, he was a little bit further north than where they were having the Civil War, where Progression's folks were, his guys were, you know, running mayhem over the whole ball of wax. But this is just the beginning for us. I think it's just the beginning of this whole story how this is going to play out. And, you know, unfortunately, you know, how they play mayhem with uh, countries and folks uh, at their whim. But guess what it's always about? Resources, man. Resources, resources, resources. Let's go into the uh, NDX and take a look at the Magnificent Seven. So if we take a look at Apple first, bottom line, is that a new all-time high? I bet it is, right? There we go. New all-time high there in Apple. We go to Microsoft. So that's, that's pulled off its high. We'll see if it can get back. Yeah, it has volume up there. It's, Microsoft's getting back there, too. See that volume, man? We get at 351, you're 335, 46 million shares at the high. That's going to go back to the high. NVDA. Now, NVIDIA is a different setup. This is definitely a different setup. Because that high there only is 45 million. It came down yesterday with 59. They could test it, that's for sure. But... NVIDIA does not have a high volume high. So that would be in a different situation. Meta. Two eighty nine. Let's just look at this for a second. Yeah, 289.79 to 26 was the all-time high. They're coming out on the 27th with numbers. 
they're going to be looking to do $31 billion to the top line, $2.90 to the bottom line. They're still growing by approximately 5% U.S. Canada, 7% in Asia, the world in general, you know, 8% across the world. So that's a big number. And then let's get over to Google. Google's having a high time holding price. And Google does not have a high volume, volume high. So when's the next, the next number, Google's 26th of July, they're coming out with numbers. They're gonna be looking to do 60 billion and bring in $1.23 to the bottom line. You know, what, what is interesting about the uh, aspect of, you know, Google, Google search, you know, versus chat GBT, um, what I've definitely found is that, and this is going to be, this is almost going to be like, you know, gas cars, two different things. You have gas, you get electric, but then you also have the gas cars using less gas. So the oil market, you know, bottom line is, has more oil and there's less demand for it. When you look at Google, and then you look at ChatGBT, what I've found is this, is that depending what you're looking for, the ChatGBT is going to give you a lot more. And in Google's instances, you know, um, you have to hunt too long. Um, that's what it comes down to. And so what ends up happening is that I've Googled a couple things that I've been looking for. It didn't give it to me right away, and then all of a sudden it says, oh, let me see this chat GGBT. Hit it on there and say, okay, that's what I'm looking for. Meaning they're, they're longer answers. Some, some of the answers that Google just don't have. They, I'm sure they have them, but you have to de go deeper down. Now, that's on one side. Now, listen to the other side. Now, the other side gets interesting, too. The other side is that when chat GBT does do, um, right now, I have two listings out here, right? One's a million dollar house and one's a $575,000 house. I use ChatGBT to do the description of the houses, right? And you should see how it works. It works great. It, it does it all down, the whole wall of wax, right? But I actually looked at it and I'm reading it and it's actually too sophisticated. So when the program's ended, I'm actually gonna change it and just write it myself. So I suspect that's going to happen also. Do you know what I mean? That it's like, okay, man, I just, I didn't like actually how together it was. Let's put it that way. Because what it did, what I felt it did, and we'll find out whether I, when I end up writing the one myself, will I get more phone calls? Because one of them has been up, they've both been up for a couple of weeks. And we, we get in action, but not the type of action I want. Um, but I feel like it's, it's that the common sense issue is not in there. Like, you know, walk to Central, you know, have a beer, have a cup of coffee. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, they, they, they play it out really cool. Um, but I think there's a, the, be, there's, a disc, there's a sales disconnect, I would say, because it's too sophisticated for what is coming off the other side. So we'll see. Pretty cool, though. Dow, Dow's up by two, let's go, let me look at the NASDAQ composite for a second, because the composite, okay, the composite, that has a wide price spread, the composite, but it has, it's not like the S&P. The S&P, you know, that S&P's going right for its highs, man. That, that, that S&P, you know, that had the nice, even if we back down a little at the close, okay, that has a nice wide bar. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow up 219, NASDAQ up 223. S&Ps are up 50. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow Dow Industry is up 231, Nasdaq's up 226, S&Ps are up 50. And I did get some good feedback, folks, uh, from that last segment, meaning you can tell ChatGBT to... Uh, uh, Act as if you're a 10 year old or act as if this or that. And there's no doubt about that. And I, I will try that because it's pretty cool. Um, it is, it's all about prompting. And what does happen is that you, I did one, um, I'm actually doing a parking lot and this one's gonna be a trip. And I'll tell you though, the end story of this cause it's gonna be interesting. So I'm doing a parking lot in St. Pete and uh, I was doing a site plan so, of course, the civil engineer has to do the site plan, has to sign off on it. But the bottom line, I did it at ChatGBT. It literally took, like, literally, like, I mean, seven to eight minutes, okay? So, so I'm sending it to, to civil engineers to get bids on it, right? <laughs> and uh, I, I can't wait to see what it comes back at, because the bottom line is that they nailed that. So the first time it came back, you know, you can get two different size parking spots. I says, okay, I want this type of parking spot. And it's sophisticated enough that I says, okay, what I also need is I need a five foot barrier on the front, a five foot barrier on the side. I need sprinklers um, for both the hedges. Um, and it, it, it rolled it out like nothing, like nothing. But guess what? That, now that's gonna be, that's definitely gonna be one pot that chat GBT will bring down price because when I, well, I'm sure I get a couple civil engineers, maybe, I'm not sure, we'll, we'll find out. I haven't, they haven't got back to me yet, but in both cases, I let them know that, you know, hey, 
I actually did this using ChatGBT, you know, I need a signature. Now, how much are you going to charge me for a signature? That's the bottom line. How much are you going to charge me to look at it for a signature? Most of the time, a site plan like that is going to cost basically 10 grand. You know, I'm looking for, you know, a signature for, you know, two to five grand, basically. Always remember, folks, the bank and claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health happens in prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Yeah, look at him, folks.